Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Today we will cover this pretty easy technique how to create this pixelated look from the video or photo footage you have. Basically you could change it pretty easily and this will update it everything. So here I have uh, one scene to show you which you could download for the link, uh, from the link below. And this is a rig scene and I will not do the same in this tutorial. I will cover only this the technique how you could create this. But what, what we have here, so this is a clones, this is a footage. Basically you could track any footage you need and this will update it. Control Z. You could change screen dimension. Yep. As you could see this is like screen dimension. Change it to this guy and this will work pretty nice with this. Uh, then you could change the another screen or ref. In this file, you could you need to drag the screen refs, the way it built. You could change uh, amount of clones, distance, and rotation of the cubes, which will change the look dramatically. So, if we do something like there, and press play. This is some painting look, some abstract painting look, if you would need it. Right click to this arrow, then you could change the scale of this highlighted area and invert the look when you uh, go forward with dark areas and go back with the highlights. So I change it like it was before, change it to 1. And this is all I need to cover here in this file. This is pretty easy setup for preview. We have the sky with material. We have two lights there. And pretty much it. We need to turn on in uh, display now in options SSO. This is like ambient occlusion reflections and line and shadows. And uh, we'll have it like there. So let's jump in the tutorial itself and see you there. So we're back. We have this empty scene, creative cube, and this cube will be our one of our uh, clone. So we go to we could uh, dr uh, click to size and choose everything here. Type ten and pressing Control and Enter, you will have these numbers to be even. So we have ten by ten by ten centimeters. This is the one part. Then we can drag and with uh, control and copy it. This guy will be bigger in, I think this is a blue arrow, this is a Z direction. We could type 20, then drag once more and type 30, once more 40 and 50. This is a 5 five items we have there. Then we need to create a cloner and put everything here into the cloner. This will copy our cubes in the grid array, which we, you can see here mod. We need to change it to object and we need an object to clone into. So we create a plane, change width and height to the numbers you need and change orientation to Z minus. This is our screen green over there. So I'll go to cloner and in object. This is a good spot to rename our object. This will be screen. Go to cloner and drag the screen into the object. So this is the first step you need to do. We have our cubes created. To the clone uh, to the screen pretty easy step you need to probably change instance mode to multi instance uh, this will speed up your scene dramatically then you would need to 111 18 thousand and you have, uh, you have your clones different clones uh, in random spots in random picking these clones so the way it will work we need to we could turn off our screen and the way it will work uh, you need to create a 
shader factor with cloner selected and if you don't do that like I did here you could drag this shader in this uh, tab so now we control distribution of our clones by this shader and this set to be scale changing but we need a position to be changed right now and our direction would be z direction this is forward and back back direction like normal direction we type 100 to see something there and we need uh, in the shading tab to have something to control our clones in this case we start with noise and this noise pattern is like black and white map which will tell that some clones will be back where is dark area and some clones will be forward which is a white area it's nice in this particular case to change the scale to see this pattern better of our noise maybe even 2000 yeah we see it and change our contrast something like that and we have it so this is the first tab but we still uh, don't have uh, clones uh, like in order we liked it to be so we go to cloner and change our clones from iterate to sort this will go through every clones and assign it to this uh, area of black and white individually so go to shader one more thing to do uh, to parameter and modify clones need to be 100 so now we have it we have a smaller cubes in this back area and bigger cubes in this forward area. That's it. Probably that's it. And this is the all the fact we need to know uh, how to create this look, except a few steps. So we could create five different materials and change the color of each to better see where this our clones. So we have random colors, doesn't matter for now, like so. And we could assign these colors for every other cube right there in the cloner. Right now you have it, you have some maybe random abstract map and we could of course animate it. In order to do that you need to go to the shader, go to shading, to your noise and we have this animation speed for example 2 and we have it this is animated noise we could control the distribution with this brightest contrast area we could drag it over there we have we have all these controls and of course in this case you could control your distribution with these parameters which i did uh, previously in my example in the beginning of this tutorial so you could change the rotation of these clones only white area will be affected by this shader so this is a random rotation and we have we see that these clones uh, don't affect at all this gray area will be like trying to um, inherit this uh, rotation and this only bright area in this case this red uh, cubes will be affected with full power so we could do whatever we want so and we still have this animation and this is abstract effect you are well after one more thing we could uh, change our screen and create duplicate the screen create a band deformer assign it turn it on and go to solo mode to see it better this is our clones we need to change not the angle but trends to see it better then go to bend go to rotation tool and we shift it uh, we shift uh, yeah we need to rotate it by this degree go to bend and we need to change the mode from limited to unlimited so it goes both ways and now we all we have to do is like changing the object we have screen one and in this case we go with screen two turn off as a solo mode don't forget and turn it off and you see that this works this works as well on every surface you need 
So going forward, change back our screen, go to screen, could delete the screen, banded screen, and we could delete this guys over there. And what else could be done? So the main thing here is how to assign our animation. Go and create one more uh, texture. Go to this texture, you could turn off your reflectance, go to color, and in this slot you could download, upload uh, your video. We take the same uh, video footage I have before, check no, and we have it. Then all you have to do is like assign this material to your shader. This way shader will recognize your uh, material if you go with a channel not custom shader but color and it will take it over as you would expect it and uh, this mode with will um, change the distribution of your clones based off the gray area so and this is a uh, one when we could invert the look you could go with highlight further or backward but this is still not the same as we have before so go to shader go to and uh, go to these clones and you see that this not affect the color of our clones itself and if we drag this same material to the clones it will disappear first of all then you need to drag this material to be linked this will work but we have UV mapping all over Ron so this color will copy it itself this channel over every cubes and this is not the way we want it to be so in this case what we could do we could drag this material to the screen right click uh, I think we need to change projection from UV mapping to flat yes and right click and fit to object this tag and bring it back to our cloner so this brings our color back to our cloner go here and increase the amount of clones and play it and it works it works perfectly everywhere you have your white area this is the clones and uh, going forward and again we could control it with our shader go to parameter right click to these arrows will bring it to the reset like uh, reset value reset to default the same as we right click to these arrows so we go forward we could press N A to see it in another mode without lines and we have it what else can be done? We could change the scale. We go with non-uniform scale. We go with something like with D. This is a forward. We could decrease this amount to be our thinner lines when they go forward. And we have this pixelated look as we would expect it. And one more thing we could do here, we could as long as we have these materials we can drag some materials over there and see and combine the look so we could have some parts to be red and some parts to be blue for example or in this case this blue should be yellow and it and they have it then you could render it in any, any render engine you want and you could or you could create a preview like we have before here so and I think I covered everything I would like you to show here maybe a few things I missed but this is not the crucial thing here uh, I hope you find something useful here and have a good day bye bye